What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I've got something special for you guys. Now this video was inspired by a recent video from Linus Tech Tips that unfortunately got taken down by Google. You know, sometimes big tech companies don't like it when you start pointing out all the ways they're keeping tabs on you. And Linus's video really got me thinking, how can I show y'all some awesome open source alternatives to Google services that can help you take back your privacy? I think Linus's video was taken down because he mentioned Gray J, an app created by Lewis Rossman that lets you follow creators rather than platforms. And it's a great tool, but I wanted to make sure that this video stays up. So we're gonna focus purely on open source software solutions that can help you de-Google your life. Now, I know a lot of you are using Google services every day, but don't worry, we're going to break down some alternatives that will keep your data privacy and give you full control. Let's get started. All right, let's start off by addressing the elephant in the room. So why even bother de-Googling? I get it. Google makes everything super convenient, but here's the catch. They're tracking everything from your searches to your emails, even your passwords. Google's got its finger in all of it. Sure, they say it's to improve your experience, but the reality is they're using your data to sell targeted ads and make big bucks. And let's not forget, even in incognito mode, they're still watching you. Now, I'm not saying Google is evil, but if you care about privacy like I do, you might want to think about alternatives. That's where open source software comes in. Today, I'm gonna show you some great options for search engines, email, cloud storage, and more, all of which are community driven and respect your privacy. All right, so let's start with search engines because that's where most of us interact with Google every day. Hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community driven open source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you want to keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community for the community and it's here to stay. Stay techie, y'all. So instead of using Google search, let me introduce you to two great options and that's DuckDuckGo and search. Now DuckDuckGo doesn't track you at all and it's easy to use right out of the box. But if you want full control over your search experience, you gotta check out search. It's an open source search engine that you can self host, meaning you control everything. You can even customize where it pulls its search results from Google, Bing, whatever you need. Next up, let's talk about email. Gmail is great and all, but your inbox is a data gold mine for Google. If privacy is important to you, check out ProtonMail. It's encrypted, so not even the company can read your email. Plus it's open source. And if you're more of a do-it-yourself kind of person, you can also use Thunderbird, which is a open source email client that gives you full control over your email and works on pretty much any platform. Finally, for cloud storage, Google Drive is the go-to for many people. But if you're concerned about your files being scanned, or used for advertising, there's Nextcloud. And I have tutorials setting this up on my channel, but it's like having your own personal Google Drive, but you're the one in control of it. And you can even set it up on a cheap Raspberry Pi or an old PC. Then you can add some hard drives and you're good to go. And it syncs across your devices. And best of all, your data stays private. All right, so those are some great alternatives for search, email, and cloud storage. Now let's move on to something we all use almost every day, and that's maps and password management. So Google Maps is pretty much everywhere, and most of us rely on it for navigation, but it also tracks where you go and stores that data. And if you want to break free, I recommend OpenStreet. It's a crowdsource alternative that offers a lot of what Google Maps does, but without the tracking. You can use apps like Osmond or Magic Earth to get turn by turn directions, just like Google Maps, but without giving away your location data. Next, let's talk about passwords. Using Google's built-in password manager is super convenient, but it's risky. 
if your Google account is compromised, all your accounts are at risk. That's why I recommend Bitwarden. It's open source and you can host it yourself. If that sounds too complicated, don't worry. Bitwarden also has a cloud option. Another great choice is an application called KeePass XC, which I have been recommending for years and done videos on it, showing you guys how to use it. But it's a lightweight offline password manager that works on any device. And essentially it's an encrypted database that stores all your password. And all you have to do is remember a key to unlock that password. Now, since Linus Tech Tips video was taken down, I've got to mention Gray J by Lewis Rossman. It's an app that allows you to follow creators instead of platforms, giving you a lot more control over the content you follow without being tied down to a big platform like YouTube. Now, Gray J is a fantastic tool. And while it's not the focus of this video, it's definitely something worth checking out if you want to support creators directly. All right, now that we got our privacy in check with maps, passwords, let's talk about one of the hardest things to replace, and that's YouTube. And I'm sure you're watching me on this platform right now. YouTube is a tough one to quit. There's no denying that it's the best platform for video content right now. But if you want to support open source alternatives, there are options like PeerTube. It's a decentralized video platform where you can host your own instance or join a community one. A lot of these alternatives are going slowly, but it's a great way to start moving away from YouTube while still watching and supporting creators. Now, another option is Odyssey. And this one, I've been supporting them for a very long time by hosting my videos over there. But Odyssey is a blockchain based media platform and they host all kinds of media such as images, articles, PDFs, audio files, and of course, videos. Based on the information I researched on Odyssey, they're looking to recapture the spirit of the 2000s internet. So rather than favoring corporate content such as network television, Odyssey is a place for everyone, including all us independent creators. And you can also earn money over there as a creator, which I have. And it's all been based on their tokens that they have over there. If you want to learn more about Odyssey, I'll have a link to a past video where I covered it. Now, another option is Invidious, and it's basically a front end for YouTube that removes tracking and ads. And you can search and watch videos without Google knowing every click you make. Now, it's a small step, but it's an important one for protecting your privacy while still enjoying video content. All right, guys, so there you have it open source alternatives to Google services that let you take back control of your data and privacy. I hope this video gives you the tools to start de-Googling your life one step at a time. Now, remember, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Start with one service like email or search and work your way up from there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Also wanted to give a big shout out to the open source community for making all of this possible because without them, we wouldn't have any of these great tools to protect our privacy. And of course, thank you to all my viewers for the continued support. Let's keep pushing for privacy and freedom online. Stay safe. And of course, keep it techy. Whenever I talk to people, whenever I mentor people, uh, dealing with, you know, getting into tech, you got to figure out what you like or what you're interested in. Cause yeah, a lot of people get into the, you know, tech field because you can make a good amount of money. The money is the motivator, but you also, in my opinion, in order for you to be happy, you got to like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so like for me, a lot of times it doesn't feel like work, bro. Most times it really doesn't feel like work. It's, it's, yeah, I'm doing something fun. I'm doing something I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes it, you know, great for me.